Yo, what is up everyone, welcome to a new video, I know the screen is kind of boring, but these are my in-game settings if you do want to copy them, so yeah, you can copy them if you want to, this video is going to be a lot different to my my other videos, um, it's going to be a settings video, not, not many people have really been asking this, but I just want to show up because I'm not going to lie to you boys, MTS I don't have any footage, so I can't really upload that, so I'm going to be uploading this instead as a quick cover up so I can get footage off MTS, and yeah, so I'm going to and what's going to be in this video it's going to be um custom crosshair reshade and what else is it it is what is it and my eye and eye so yeah anyway please be sure to like subscribe and comment and please watch the rest of the video okay boys so right now i'm showing you guys all my iron eyes that i use i'm using aura's one which is my mate that he gave me so yeah now i'm going to quickly demonstrate how you put it in the file boys Okay, so what you're gonna do is you wanna open Steam, you then wanna go to Arc, you wanna click Properties, you wanna go Local File, you wanna go Browse, Local File. Once you do that, you then want to go to Engine, Config, then at the very bottom, you should see uh, Console Variable. Once you see Console Variable, then want to go ahead and drag, select, well, drag the INI that you wanna use. If you wanna use mine, it'll be in the description, most likely. If I'm not too lazy to put it in, then I'll go find it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, once you've done that, you can just exit out relaunch your game and you should have the INI as long as you put it in obviously exit out of and it's just as console variable and you should be good okay so now what i'm doing is i'm just showing you guys what the game looks like my game doesn't look like poo so i would definitely suggest using this INI. but the main problems with this INI is is that it does get rid of tech rail gun the normal tech gun um and it also gets rid of the tech helmet and just and snow out and buzz and everything that just comes up with like little flashing colors and stuff like that it gets rid of that and yeah but you can see underwater it gets rid of z's it gets rid of all that kind of stuff gets rid of all that juicy stuff so i would suggest using this in my opinion but if you don't want to use it you can use the normal one or go use an actual hard iron eye but anyway this is what the game looks like and yeah cut to the next clip boys okay now this is reshade what you want to do is you want to go to your google you then want to put in the link that is in the description once you put the link in you then want to download it you want to click save file if you use the same browser as me go up to the top right use it the reason why there's two that's because i tried to do this before and it didn't work you don't want to click the thing and you want to click the thing in the middle you then want to go to d drive if that's where it is steam steam custom boom boom and then you want to click uh, shoot a game. You want to, the reason why you click shoot a game is because that is actually where the game is installed. You want to click yes. You want to let it install. Once it has installed, you want to unclick everything. And I'll leave on screen what you do want to have on. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to cut to the next clip because this is all you really need to see. You just need to, just once you do this, you then need to just click OK and relaunch your game. And the thing you need to click to open the menu is, I think it is home on your keyboard once you click that the menu will open and yeah very nice yo boys i know i sound like a bit of an like a bit of a douchebag in this video and not really showing you guys how to set it up is because reshade is something that is optional for most people and you need to kind of not figure it out yourself but deal with the settings yourself because otherwise if i tell you what to use and you don't like it then you have to sit there doing it anyways so you might as well just do your own settings you know so Okay, boys, so now um, in this clip, I'm showing you how to get the custom crosshair. So what you want to do is you want to go to custom desktop logo on Google. You want to install the most recent one. You want to click OK. Once you click OK, you want to go, it will open for you. You want to go to the thing. You want to drag it. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to replace because then that's going to fuck my settings up. You want to just exit out of that or you want to drag it, replace, whatever. Um, what you want to do is you want to then open it. <laughs> Once you've opened, you, you want to go to the little green little knob thing, little green thing. Once you've done that, it will open up a thing. I already have a crosshair, and this is what mine looks like. You can get whatever one you want. This needs to be transparent. And once you get that, you then want to go to, I'm just sitting there playing with it. You then want to go to system, images, and then you want to create a new file called crosshair or whatever you want to call it and drag your little image that you have into there once you do that you then want to go to the little bubble thing you want to click settings once you do that you then want to click change i think that says image something then once you do that you then want to click on whichever one your whichever one your thing is in click ok once you've done that you want to go to size 
uh, location, sorry. And once you're at location, you then want to do all these settings. You want to do two and one just because it's nice and center. And yeah, you can go to size. You can fit all the size. I like it. I, I think I have it at 1.4, 1.5 maybe. And that's the best for me. So anyway, yo, I really hope you guys do enjoy these settings that I've just shown you. Anyway, that is actually going to be the end of the video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and comment and peace boys.